In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Theme Checker plugin to see if the theme you're developing or working on or even running on your WordPress site is up to the WordPress.org standards for coding. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, we're going to head over to the screen capture and start playing around with the Theme Checker plugin. I'll see you there. This is usually used by developers, but anybody can install this plugin. It's free, and it's interesting to see how your theme stacks up. So to do this, to get started, we go to plugins and then click on add new. And it's one of the most popular plugins, so it's right up here on the featured list. If you don't see it, see it there, just type in theme check in the search bar. And it's the first one right here. We click on install now, then we click on activate. And now we have it activated and a new menu item was added under appearance called theme check. So if we click on that, we come to the theme check page. It detects that we have 2017 running. That's the one that's activated. If you choose to drop down, you can pick a theme that's not activated but currently installed on your site to check that. It, it would be interesting to check the 2017 theme because it is one that's created by WordPress. So hopefully they're up to date on all the standards. And it says here that this theme check plugin is the same standard review process used for this plugin as WordPress.org uses when new themes are uploaded to that site and whether they're approved or not is based on the theme check. So if we click on check it to see how this one stacks up, it might take a few moments for this page to generate. Uh, so it says right here, there's a warning, WP debug is not enabled. Or WP debug is basically an error suppression or an error enabling system. So if you're developing a theme, you wanna have debug enabled so that errors are output. Quite often, WordPress will just show you a blank page if something went wrong. But if you have debug enabled, it will show you no content on the page except for error codes, which are great for theme developers, but not great on live websites. So if you're doing this just for fun, don't worry about this message. If you do want to have the debug enabled, just click on this link here. It'll show you how to enable the debug. So if we scroll down, we see some information about 2017. And we've got a big green box, which is great. It says right here, the theme has passed the basic test, which is great, but it says you also have to check it properly before you upload it to the WordPress themes directory to make sure it doesn't break anything. And then there's a bit of information. So there's a recommended change, which is interesting. It's, it's not a warning, it's not an error, but the plugin recommends something that the WordPress team didn't do. Or it could also be something that wasn't the best practice when the theme was published. And there's some information tags, which is even less important than recommended. It's just info. And up at the top, we actually have the option to suppress the info, because it can be considered as noise. So if you don't want to see these info options, you just want to see the recommended things and the errors, then click on suppress info, then you won't see that information. And that's all there is to it. If you have other themes installed, feel free to test those by just selecting it, clicking on check it. I'm not gonna bore you with testing these ones that I have installed. And that's all there is to using the Theme Checker plugin. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more tutorials. And after that, click on that card that just appeared in the top right corner of the video for some free, awesome WordPress resources. And until next time, keep crushing with WordPress, and I will see you on the next video.